the humble pineapple, which Singaporeans associate with rolling good fortune into new homes and with hospitality, became an unlikely star at the recent presidential election. To both voters and marketing and branding experts, President-elect Tharman Shanmugaram's use of the tropical fruit as a symbol of his campaign was a brilliant and clever choice that resonated with people across age, race, and background. Throughout the nine days of campaigning, Mr. Tharman, 66, was met with chants of Om Lai, which means pineapple in Hokkien, and Hua Ta, a Hokkien expression for prosperity. He also surprised drink stall worker Ng Boon Ping with a pineapple during a walkabout at Lao Pa Saturday. At an election meeting at Pazar Panjang Power Station, some supporters turned up in outfits with pineapple prints. One even wore a pineapple brooch. By polling day on September 1st, Mr. Tharman had become synonymous with the fruit. His supporters turned up at Taman Jurong Market and Food Center bearing pineapples while bursting out into Ong Lai cheers. When Mr. Tharman unveiled his election symbol on nomination day, he said that he chose it as the pineapple is a propitious and welcome symbol for many people here. He paired the symbol with the tagline, respect for all. Political science undergraduate Maximilian O, 23, said that Mr. Tharman's symbol was memorable, as it was different from the usual political logos that voters might be familiar with. It suited the non-political nature of the election, it was a neutral logo that represented Singapore society, not the candidate or his beliefs, said the National University of Singapore student. Aside from the pineapple symbol, what stood out for communications consultant Geraldine Wee, 44, was Mr. Tharman's tagline. Cost of living, mental health issues, people are generally unhappy, angry and looking for someone else to blame, so respect for all resonated with me, she said. Marketing executive Rebecca Tan, 25, thought the pineapple was a really great choice that could connect with Singaporeans of all races. She noted that even the online cheer became a slogan in itself. The other logos from the other candidates were safe, but you couldn't really do much with them. While they had significant enough meaning, it sounded a bit like fluff, said Ms. Tan. Former GIC chief investment officer in Coke Song's symbol was an open hand, with a heart in the middle of the palm. His tagline was, United for our future. Mr. Ng, 75, said that the five fingers symbolized the various races in Singapore, and the palm signifies that while people might come from different races and religions, we are one palm. We are one country. The third candidate, Mr. Tan Kim Lien, 75, chose a symbol with four figures, representing the major ethnic groups in Singapore, reaching out to a flower. The former NTC Income Chief Executive said his logo represented hope for a better future, and he chose the tagline, Bring back trust, give us hope, for his campaign. Dr. Diana Chang, Senior Lecturer of the Marketing Program at the Singapore University of Social Sciences School of Business, said that the use of a common, affordable, fruit made Mr. Tharman's logo tangible. She said, People like the logo because pineapples are accessible to ordinary people, which most voters are. This allows the candidate to connect with people and lowers the power distance a political candidate is often associated with. It also suggests that, eventually, it is the everyday life that people care about, not promises that are far from life. Keeping it simple helped Mr. Tharman's symbol edge out his competitors, hands down said Ms. Jane Chan, Innovation Lead at We Communication Singapore, who noted that Mr. Tharman picked a versatile symbol that is not only a popular ingredient in Asian cuisine, but also relevant to Singaporeans of all ages. Dissecting the voter groups, she said, For younger audiences, due to the simplistic nature of the pineapple and how it exists as an emoji, it is easy to make memes and viral-worthy content. For more mature audiences, it is a symbol already associated with luck and prosperity, and with it being so accessible to purchase. It is an icon of uncomplicated optimism. Added Ms. Chang, whose 2012 undergraduate research thesis explored the impact of graphic design on political campaigning. Even supporters of the other candidates gave their thumbs up for Mr. Tharman's tropical fruit symbol. 
When assessing the three candidates' logos, a 29-year-old voter who chose Mr. Ng at the polls picked Mr. Tharman's logo as the most memorable. The software engineer, who wanted to be identified only as Jala, said, I forgot the other two logos, which were generic. Mr. Tharman's choice of pineapple was a talking point. A freelance art director, who voted for Mr. Tan, said that he did not know what his campaign symbol was or what it stood for. Mr. Tan's tagline felt like he was running in a general election and sounded like he wanted to be an opposition party leader. I didn't feel like it was something a president would say, said the 34-year-old. Another Tan Kin Lian supporter, a 59-year-old blogger, said that his flower and people logo was attractive. But, unfortunately, it can't be eaten. Reflecting on Mr. Tan's slogan, he also said, Trust and hope are good to have, but they are abstract concepts, not really necessary to keep some people's property prices rising. Mr. Owen Na, creative director at Ogilvy Public Relations Singapore, said that Mr. Tharman's choice of using an unadorned, clip art style pineapple was surprisingly roguish in a playful, even mischievous way, especially when put next to the logos of the other two candidates. He said that Mr. Eng's and Mr. Tan's logos contained messages that needed to be explained or required a voter to interpret their meanings on his own. In contrast, Mr. Tharman's logo came across as a friendly, balmy, comforting icon that is recognizable in Singapore's culture and relatable on a personal level too, said Mr. Na. We each have a story or two about rolling pineapples across our new homes or offices. In using the pineapple, Mr. Tharman linked his campaign to voters' identities as individuals, that he is like us, he understands our unique needs and he wants to help us who it. He added, Mr. Jackson Tan, creative director at multidisciplinary agency Black, said Mr. Tharman's pineapple logo was refreshing and unexpected, and differentiated him from the other candidates. However, using a fruit symbol may not work for every candidate, whether in the recent election or in the future, should anyone try to replicate Mr. Tharman's success, said Mr. Tan, who designed the SG50 logo. Mr. Tan noted that Singaporeans were already familiar with Mr. Tharman's persona, credentials and background, which was why they could connect the dots and link his logo and tagline to him. This approach may not work for every candidate and could actually go the other way. It could make them look unprepared or they may be mocked for being amateurish. He said, you need to tailor the right shirt for the person 